Did you know that in 2013, an episode of the popular TV show How I Met Your Mother featured a fascinating phenomenon known as the cheerleader effect? In this episode, the character Barney Stinson claims that people appear more attractive when they are in a group than when they are alone. While this idea may seem like a fictional concept created for the show, it turns out that the cheerleader effect is supported by actual scientific research. Hey Rational Rebels! Welcome to the arena of reason, the very place we train our minds to spot cognitive pitfalls. This is Chris from Critical Conditioning, where we strive for cognitive precision and free our minds from that mental prison. Today, we're exploring the cheerleader effect, a captivating social phenomenon that suggests people often appear more attractive when seen in a group compared to individually. We'll unravel the psychology behind this effect and its fascinating implications for our perceptions and judgments. Before we dive into this intriguing topic, remember to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell to stay updated with our mind-strengthening content. If you find our podcast valuable, consider supporting us through PayPal using the link in the description. Your support helps us continue our mission of promoting rational thinking. Also, please share this episode with someone you know who might be interested in understanding the cheerleader effect. Let's share knowledge together. Let's get started. First, let's talk about the studies that support the cheerleader effect. In 2013, researchers at the University of California, San Diego conducted a study in which participants were shown pictures of individuals both alone and in groups. They were asked to rate the attractiveness of each person. The results indicated that people were perceived as more attractive when they were part of a group. Another study conducted in 2018 by researchers from the University of Padova and the University of Pavia in Italy further confirmed the existence of the cheerleader effect. Participants in this study were asked to rate the attractiveness of faces presented in groups and individually. Once again, the results showed that people were perceived as more attractive when they were part of a group. Now, let's dive into some real-world examples that demonstrate the cheerleader effect in action. 1. Boy bands and girl groups Countless boy bands and girl groups throughout history have benefited from the cheerleader effect, making each individual member appear more attractive when surrounded by their fellow group members. 2. Sports teams Have you ever noticed that athletes often seem more attractive when they're part of a team? The cheerleader effect plays a role here as well, enhancing the perceived attractiveness of individual athletes. 3. Social events People tend to appear more attractive at parties or social gatherings when they're surrounded by friends, which can be attributed to the cheerleader effect. 4. Group photos It's common for people to look better in group photos compared to individual selfies, thanks to the cheerleader effect. 5. Advertising campaigns Many ads feature groups of attractive people, as the cheerleader effect can enhance the overall attractiveness of the advertisement and make it more appealing to consumers. 6. Movies and TV shows Ensemble casts in movies and television shows can benefit from the cheerleader effect, as the group dynamic can make individual actors seem more attractive to viewers. 7. Fashion shows Models walking down the runway in groups may appear more attractive due to the cheerleader effect, enhancing the visual appeal of the clothing they are showcasing. Now, let's look at some individual differences findings regarding who is especially at risk of falling for the cheerleader effect. Research has shown that individuals with lower levels of self-esteem and higher levels of social anxiety are more likely to be influenced by the cheerleader effect. This is because these individuals place a higher value on social acceptance and are more likely to be influenced by group dynamics. To help you spot the cheerleader effect and avoid falling victim to it, here are some tips. 1. Be aware. Simply knowing about the cheerleader effect can help you recognize when it might be influencing your perception of attractiveness. 2. Focus on individual features. When assessing the attractiveness of someone in a group, try to focus on their individual features, rather than being influenced by the group dynamic. To avoid falling victim to the cheerleader effect, consider these tips. 1. Develop critical thinking skills. Strengthening your critical thinking abilities can help you identify when your perceptions are being influenced by external factors, like the cheerleader effect. 2. Evaluate individuals separately. When possible, evaluate people separately from the group they're in, so you can form a more accurate judgment of their attractiveness. 3. One super simple method is simply to learn more about biases and fallacies. Studies show that knowing that a bias or fallacy exists is one of the most powerful ways to not fall victim to it. 
By understanding the cheerleader effect and its implications, you can make more informed judgments about attractiveness and avoid being swayed by group dynamics. So rational rebels, what do you think about this effect? Do you know a story or have an experience of yourself or someone you know who fell for this effect? Let me know and share your thoughts in the comments below. Also, please like and subscribe if you found this video helpful or want to help the channel grow. Hit the bell to not miss anything and share the video to spread awareness or send it to someone who could benefit from this episode. Please consider making a donation via the PayPal link in the description. Your support means the world to me and helps create more critical thinkers in this world. Keep your mind sharp, subscribe to become a rational rebel, until the next time we meet in the arena of reason. This is Chris from Critical Conditioning, signing off.